All right. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third, that's right, number three episode of Painting with Tom. I'm your host, Tom. And if you don't mind, if you feel like you've learned something in this series, please like and subscribe. And uh, let's get on to this one. This one, if you didn't notice by the front picture, Stonehenge. I'm excited. I was I'm still excited about it. Um, it's that painting right there. Uh, okay. That was a walk to get out there. It was about a mile and a half from the parking lot, carrying all the kit. And uh, it cost about 25 pounds center, but it's worth it. I, I, it was Stonehenge. And it's technically the 22nd of June, which makes it a day after the summer solstice, but as most celestial events are three-day ordeals, kind of counts. I'm going to count it. Besides, crowd yesterday at Stonehenge on, on the solstice, 8,000 strong. I'm not even going to guess how parking went. The day after, though, crowd was far more manageable. It was busy, but I didn't know exactly what to expect. I mean, but I was pleasantly surprised when I set up was able to get straight into drawing and painting and executing this project. Sun was out, and it was hot, and if you know Stonehenge, there's no shade, there's no trees. It's a giant stone calendar that has last for eons because it's Stonehenge. Some cloud cumber came in and out, didn't affect the lighting too much. Several onlookers throughout the day, lots of conversation. A couple of people wanted my YouTube channel so they could subscribe, knowing I was making an episode right in front of them. It was pretty cool, warmed my heart a little. And if you're one of those people and you get to see this episode and you remember talking to me, leave a message in the comments below. Let me know how you thought it went and uh, how it turned out in the episode. Really appreciate it. Like to reconnect and start a dialogue with you if possible. But I digress. So painting Stonehenge, technically pretty simple painting as far as color goes. Blue sky, green grass, gray stones. Just like that. But I wouldn't be happy with just that, so I spent the time doing the screeny eye technique to help derive a better spread of colors in the visible areas. Uh, just squint your eyes so you can see where the dark, see where the dark stuff is in contrast to the light stuff, where the shadows and shading is versus where the highlights, and uh, you know, and it kind of helps you helps you out a little bit. So try it on your own if if you need to. Uh, placement and proportion are based completely on where I was set up. It's technically one of the oldest still life exhibits on the planet to paint. I mean, it is. It's, it's technically it's huge. Or even there's druids on the day doing their thing. It was pretty cool to witness. Uh, big white beards, long white robes, weird, funny-looking white hats. A lot of, just yeah, there's about thirty of them just walking around doing their thing. Yeah. So back to the painting. All right, placement. Placement. Sorry. So right, let's get back to the painting. All right, placement and proportion are going to be the biggest emphasis on your painting. Keeping these large stones grounded in reality is easy. No one's figured out how to turn off gravity yet, and these stones are huge. Uh, but in your painting, you're going to have to find a way to make sure your gravity is in place, and the placement and shadow and size are going to help give you the depth of the places of the pieces that make this up. Remember, though, you're not here to paint rocks, you're painting shapes. If you just make the shapes and put the colors and textures in the right places, the illusion of weight will fall into place. Well, there you go, Stonehenge. Uh, tune in next time we go someplace new to paint. That's right, we're going to Dublin, Ireland to paint. So don't miss out. You can do that by smashing the bell and you'll be alerted to all the upcoming content and a huge thank you to those that have already liked and subscribed keeping up to date that lets me know that you want my content to continue and your comments and we'll answer them on days in the future when we get to them 
And hopefully if you come up with a good one, we'll address that in the painting. Have a good day. Happy painting. Bye.